Well, hello, 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 and welcome back to Keeper RL, with JD is the evil, evil necromancer, where we don't take prisoners, we just kill everyone. When we last left off here, we had... <laughs> that, that's pretty good there. That's pretty good. We had uh, the frozen remains of a zombie there. Uh, no, we, we dug down a little bit. We were trying to... Uh, get some more resources and figure out why we couldn't build over here. Well, I asked the Keeper RL Discord and they did not disappoint. Uh, apparently in structures, we need to have a building interior. And we would just place that there. And they, these zombies will build it. I hope we can get rid of these stumps. Let's see. The zombies will build it when it is nighttime and then we will be able to build there. But until then, we got some more water. You know what? Watch this. There you go. That's how I'm going to deal with this water. I should have done the same thing over there. We need to conserve our resources, not spend them frivolously. Let's go ahead up above ground. And as soon as it's, as soon as it's daytime, we'll, we'll head back out there. We do have another 21 uh, corpses here. I want to make some mages. I really, really do. The issue with, that I'm thinking about with mages right this second is the fact that we don't have any, any mage books. So I don't know how well they're doing. The only way to find out is, is trying it. Let's try it. We'll have, we'll have JD build one and we'll see what happens there. So we are getting those resources there. And it's not one of our good zombies. Half tempted to just start destroying our good zombies and keeping or destroying our bad zombies and only keeping our good ones. So if we look, we got 70% digging on him. He's one that we've we've worked up. And then we have 20% digging. So that is a massive digging increase. That's right. Beat them so they work harder, JD. I'm with you. And where did we build our zombie mage yet? We haven't. We'll also need other things, maybe like um, vampire nobles, because I think they help. Yeah, vampire nobles help us build stuff. So we'll definitely want one of those in here. Of course, we got juggernauts and zombie kings and the remains. The remains of our enemies will be used. All right, let's take a look and see what you have. So we have zero training on you. And because of that, we can't even cast summon fly. So our zombie mage or our spell school is zombie mage. So we'll get summon fly, advanced defense, advanced damage, animate corpse, blindness, mass defense, mass damage, and uh, advanced animate corpse. So interesting spell school there. Very different from the zombies, or from the mages of Quirzilla. We'll definitely have to keep that in mind as we continue to dig through here. All right, as we are waiting for the day to end, we are still gaining resources, which is fantastic. I'm actually going to take a moment and just not dig out what we don't need. Because that is a... Uh, not a good use of our resources here. I'll cut that down to one one pathway there, and I'll do the same here. There we go. We'll be very precise with that because I want the rest of the zombies not to be stuck down here digging, but I want them outside building my great castle. There we go. So it is nighttime now. The music, the change of the music, how you can tell, it's all spoopy. There we go. There's one of our good zombies. Get out there. So they actually have to build the ground. I didn't realize that. Then once they come in here, I should be able to then go into, that's not what I want. Go into the gate here. And built the gate. Perfect. All right. 
And there you go. There's the purple dots that I was talking about last episode where you can see that, oh, we own this. Now, just curious. Good, I can remove the trees. Perfect. Alright, I'm going to want to unfortunately take down everything that we built here. But that that's fine. Because I don't want our zombies coming back over here once they're in here. I also want to figure out how I'm going to lay out my area here. Probably straight back this way will be the two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all right. So back this way, we'll have two stairs up directly across. Can't build on it yet, that's fine. There we go, look at that. All right. That's what I'm talking about. We're starting starting to see some stuff here. Starting to see some stuff here. Now, if I order this and I remove this construction, can I remove it? Okay, I can't. So that's fine. We'll leave it up. Uh, that's, these will be the borders of our, our some rooms over here is what I'm thinking. Okay, so storage. I want uh, resources. Let's see. Resources there and equipment there. And let's go destroy all of the other areas that we have for stuff. That way our zombies will start moving things around. And let's start removing all this other stuff here. I know it's kind of odd that we're just destroying stuff in here, but we're doing that because we don't we don't want to live here anymore. This is not where we live anymore. These are not our areas. Got some torches in here. Oh, I can't add torches on those walls. We'll get those in there, and then let's go down. Start start our downward tunnel there. Excellent. So this is neat. It actually uh has our, we have ourselves a little little way here passage. So that way we can move directly underground. That's that's gonna be cool. Alright, I like that idea. Maybe we have an underground escape route. We're gonna keep this locked. Keep that locked. We'll keep that locked. In order for them to get to each other, they have to go underground. Oh, I need to destroy that. Storage. Grave. You know what? We're going to have our grave underground. There you go. And back up to ground. We're just kind of fixing things, making things look the way... I don't want to say perfect, but look at, making things look the way I want them to look. Right. Uh, remove construction. Yeah. No more corpses. It's fine. Bring them all back home. There is a snake corpse outside. Can we grab that real quick? Uh, orders. Fetch. Dang. Let's go get that. There you go. Uh, you know, not a corpse. Still a corpse. Okay, we're looking good here. We're looking good. Let's start building some rooms. Or right, you know what we'll do first is we'll come up here. Do I need to build this interior as well? I think I do. Even if I don't, I'm going to. How tall are we going to have this bad boy? And I think I should have walls around it just to make it look right the important thing right it's the important thing right guys since we have okay we got plenty of stone
and we'll, we'll go up there and there. I will put my stone pillar in the middle, as we did down below. Yep. Gotta keep some things some uniform, you know? Know what I mean? A little bit of uniform here and there never hurt. Alright. So we are very confused here as a skeleton warrior. All of my army, my entire army is just like, I don't know what we're doing now. Are we moving? You know I hate to move, Dad. Let's see. So I'm thinking that this is this is a so that'll be actually you know what? I should have because this is gonna be a door, so I should probably have this come up one. Remove that. And then we'll go to orders, remove construction. Oh, I guess I have just have to dig, right? Yeah. Alright. So this will be a little crafting room here. Yeah, I should have done is I should have put the doors here. We'll do that. I should have put the doors here because that would make more sense. A little bit more protection. If people come in from there or there, there's a little bit more protection getting to the areas. All right. Let's dig that. Oh, we discovered the location of a cave bear. As we can see all the way over there, apparently. Oh, wait. What's going on here? Z level 1 doesn't have that. Z level 2 does. Oh, oh, we might. What's this? Is that more stuff in the caves? Interesting. Do we have to dig out that way or walk out that way? I'm not sure. This is all new to me. Let's go. Let's go up a little bit more. I was planning on just building a uh um there we go. I was planning on just building a tower going up, but if there's like other events that we can find, I won't be opposed. Okay. So let's go ahead and start getting some of this stuff in here. So we want, I'd probably say our lab is going to be on the second floor. we go our lab will probably be on the second floor our weapons and storage would probably be down here so let's get our crafting room set up so our workbenches let's see our workbenches being there our Morgue table will be on the second floor. Our storage for all of our stuff is going to be over here. So scroll. No, you know what? Let's be really deliberate with our storage, shall we? So weapons, armor rack will be here for sure. We've got a weapon rack that will be here for sure. Uh, I'd say bows would probably be in here. Let's move this back up against the wall there. We can start start laying out some of our our stuff here. So we still we do not have a lot of we do not have a lot of anything uh, in regards to wood. So let's go ahead and dig some of this stuff out here. So you guys may or may not be able to tell, but this is the first time I'm building upwards, and it's really cool. To say I'm very I'm very pleased with the upward expansion. <laughs> All right. I don't know why that was a he 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 moment, but you know what? I did it, so therefore it is. This is a lava pit. I think this is the lava. 
Yeah, that's lava. We'll have to dig over there. Maybe I'll just bring this down over here so we don't have to worry about any of this. Shouldn't have to worry about any of this, though. All right, then we'll, we will definitely need to do build stone bridges. Thankfully, we have the stone to build those bridges. All right, we've got them working down here. That's perfect. Ground level. All right, we got this, got that, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Let's go into our second floor. I gotta remember that that is how the second floor works. Let's try to, where are all these icons? Okay, those are downstairs. Those should be downstairs too. We've already gotten those, yeah. There's apparently some kind of cave bear here. Really interested in seeing what that is all about. I think we can take a cave bear, right? Let's see how this works. Oh, I can't even build it over here. I have to build pillars down bottom. This is so cool. All right, structures, stone walls. One, two, three, four. Over two, up four. Over two, up four. All right, we wouldn't need, actually, we wouldn't be able to do stone doors at all. It's really, we straight up iron doors everywhere. I feel like I should have another one of these for symmetry. This is this is how we get. Okay. Uh so training room. Nope. Crafting. Go. The morgue table we'll place. Don't have the wood for them, but we'll place them there. And then laboratory. Place them over there. And we're gonna have to continue digging down. But before I do that, to continue putting down torches what I must do. Second floor. Oh, those aren't symmetrical. That'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'll just ignore it. Pretend. Yeah, I'll pretend that doesn't exist. <laughs> All right. There we go. And then we'll just leave the roof up on here for now. And we'll build that in later. But let's go down as far as we can go. So we are... Ooh, big diggers. They're, they're digging. They're doing some excellent digging. All right, let's keep going down. Try to get some some torches up in this joint. Let me actually cancel this. I see that we're going to come right across the lava again. And there's no point in doing that, right? We've already got, we know where we're going. Might as well just put that in there. We're heading down into a lot of great stuff, but not particularly what we're looking for. Let's see what you got here. That's some vampires, I do believe. We might take them on, if anything, to, to kill them, their corpse. But uh, we might take them on just for the extra firepower right away. All right, we got that built. It is now nighttime. The music chain, or daytime rather. The music change is a surefire way to tell when it's day and night. There we go. Let's 
clean it up but everything just a little bit just to use our resources better there we go and because we have so many people to work right now let's continue going down that's cool really need those trees to create more creatures of evil what I'd really like to do is maybe this evening I don't we're not we don't have a super great army you know what I mean in our mage is not even is non-existent right now you know but I'd like to go try to take out some other stuff but I'd really like to see what that bear cave is all about that area is spicy we build in our stairs perfect the one time the one time that I want there's a there's lava like literally right next to us is this a lava bridge yeah it's a lava bridge the one time that I want um the mushroom trees Time that I cannot find them. What I do want to do is I want to continue digging down and I'd like to build these stone bridges here. All right, here we go. Jackpot. This is what we need desperately. We got here another fire bridge. Wow. That's pretty crazy. That's the wrong key. There we go. So the different biomes that you plan definitely change up your play style a bit, you know? Like, I would not be looking for these trees at all. Oh, it's water. A bit of fire. Interesting. Playing in a forest biome or even a snow biome, uh, various other biomes, you just not, you not need uh, this. Need weapons for my minions? You are absolutely right, game. The problem is, you see, the problem is, is I don't have the ability to make them yet. Will I? Probably. All right, so we should be digging into those trees. I wonder if they're going to start cutting trees. All right, excellent. They do start cutting the trees. And we get, uh, what, 12, 13 per? That's fantastic, actually. JD came down here and was like, what are you guys doing? Why have I not got my embalming table set up yet? What's wrong with you guys? Looks good here. Uh, let's take our army out. Let's go ahead. We're gonna we're gonna kind of play it safe. Let's take our our army out, and we will head to. Oh, man, all these guys are tough. Let's see what happens. Shot in the neck. I'm blind. I'm permanent. I dropped. Oh, jeez. Well, good news is that's not us because we didn't have any clubs. Elven archers. Hello? Is anyone home? I can't see. <laughs> this random murder is happening. Could I switch off to another character? I absolutely could. Am I going to? Heck no. All right, we did it. So this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to just try to capture some stuff. I can't see anything. I got to switch. Oh, you can't see anything either. There we go. Found someone that has eyes.
What were we fighting? I don't even know what we were even fighting. Not heard. Donkey Spirit curses me. Don't curse me. I'm a good person, I think. Oh no. Dead. Uh, let's go over here. Oh, you can't see either. You're the worst archer. I'm crawling. Oh, well, this doesn't look good. Let's go home. We got a blind guy, a crawling guy. But you know what we did get? Experience. And we can pillage all this stuff. Elven swords in here. Nice. All right. So this is a, a really pivotal level. Are we going with any sorcery whatsoever? Are we going to start iron working so we can get iron here? We do have almost 2,500 iron. I think that's going to be the way to go. We also have advanced necromancy where we can start getting vampires in here. This is a... Uh, or archery. Let's go with iron working. I feel like that has the most benefit benefit to us. We've got the iron dummies. Uh, we'll have the adamantium dummies when we get adamantium and of course the forge. So I think that's going to be our biggest benefit now. Go ahead and let the game run. And we need to build out this level too, because this is going to be a pure training level. Actually, come to think of it, this should have been the pure training level. And upstairs should not have been. But that's fine. What we'll do, we'll take this wooden dummies along this side here. And iron dummies along this side here. And I'm probably going to take these guys and put them down here. Let's, let's, let's do that. So we can put the adamantium dummies here. This area will be fully protected. I also don't have any light on this side, which makes it extremely dangerous for me to walk around, you know? We need JD safe. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll do crafting, labs on this side, orders, remove construction. There we go. Now that we have these guys, See, what do we got? Fence boost? No. Spell damage, range damage. Melee training limit. Let's do four of those. We'll make four skeletons, is what we're going to do. Uh, defense boost, four of these. Damage boost, four of those. So we'll have those being made. As soon as, uh, as soon as JD comes back up here, he's very busy beating everybody, you know? And I, for one, understand the need to follow. I, for one, understand the need to beat people. So, I mean, I can't, I can't fault him for doing what he loves. I wonder what these things are considered. Are these things considered... Uh, I'm, I mean, when I say I'm considered, is it... Or maybe it's just equipment. I don't know. I don't know what they're considered to, to be when they fall on the ground. But as JD builds, creates, I think this is where we're going to end it for today, guys. I feel really happy with how far we've come in such a short time with our tower. Also, the events on the upper Z levels, I want to check them out to see how they how they work. But until next time, my friends, appreciate everyone who has supported me. That includes JD, Quirzilla, LDDP, and Randall Thor. I will see everybody in the next adventure. Cheers.